That was just, I mean, that was, I, I, just, I didn't even have a chance. I didn't even have a chance. Grab me and uh, all of that shit. Wow. You got the worst no series. And the next one just came, it was just like, it was like sitting at a poker table and everybody just keeps getting faces. And there's nothing you do. I, I, yeah, sometimes maybe the I'm random just, numbers just, just go against you. Success. No, sometimes the random numbers just go against you. You got all the worst possible attacks that are more complicated to dodge or do more damage or the projectiles. I mean, as soon as I'm up here, you see, they, they, they shot... They shot two of those fucking uh, Star Trek fucking plasma fucking things at me in that one alone. They had only, they had only, I think, shot three at me altogether before that. Well, in the meantime, you can make your way back. Well, I'm not, I don't And this is just a long thing. I don't have to fight stuff. And I'm with the kid. We'll forego our pleasantries. See if we can see if we can <sighs> and break up some uh, get some get some new karma going here. Left. That was good RNG. She immediately did the swoop deed around you attack. Which gave you plenty of space to get through. Yep, hit it and then exit. Forward, take it right past the wooden buildings. Take a left here. We go up the stairs. go far enough. I was honestly concerned that you didn't go far enough there. I didn't go far enough what? I thought you Into just go middle. straight off. You are, but you, yeah, only, you didn't you didn't push hard enough on the analog stick because <laughs> there's a chance you can clip onto the uh, the dutiful things didn't jutting push out. hard enough on the analog stick. Okay, so I'm not gonna ever fucking do that again. Because if there's one thing you can't do at my age, son... Is pushed too hard on the analog stick. You notice there's no comments when it's when it. We're kind of doing just attempts right now. Not really a whole lot to talk about other than get good and just keep at it until you eventually win. <laughs> right. well, well, what else are we going to talk no, no, about? No, it's you're just... right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is and what that, it is. And that time, that was just sheer variance. I mean, I, I'm not great at this game, but I'm I'm better than that. I mean, they just they were just coming at me. All of a sudden, there was a second guy there, and fuck. I don't even know why, how I did that. See, I'm just pressing buttons that I don't even realize I'm doing. If I'm not, I'm not gonna go there either, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it just might take me 700 tries. <laughs> it's not gonna take me. It's part of it is just it's just so disorienting. You've got no sense of space. So yeah, that's part of that's part of the trick. You got this black open void. Like I don't know how big he, I didn't know how big he was at first.
take it right here. All right. I gotta heal up when I get in there anyway, so you can just. Yep, there you go. There's the little bridge. Is there, I mean, is there a better way to do this on one, off of one of these pads? Is it pretty yeah, safe? Yeah, but you still got to have to time the, you still have to time the, you have to like position the drop so you don't hit any of the uh, outward uh, platforms. That's really the only fastest way to do this is to jump in the middle and just. Well, I did it before. You. I just yeah. thought you just walk off and you're just there, you know? All right. All right, here we go. All right, there he is. Just get on top of him and start attacking. I'm gonna go back and heal up here. Locked on him and just start circling around. Alright, good stuff. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, just get right on top of him because those because his like close range attacks don't do as much damage. Try a right bump early like, when you miss, miss his attacks. You won't have like that uh, time and opportunity. Right and that was defeated. Alright, rest and repeat for this next dude. Health check. You didn't have to consume three at once. You are low in stamina. Calm down, calm down. Dad, calm down. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Get, yep. Just get on top of him. One more attack. One more attack, one more attack. You did it! Woo! You were one yeah! hit away from as well. Yeah! Woo! Four kings defeated. And Dad, Even now button defeat mashing my sex. Get, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a triple. Uh, okay, press A to collect the Bequeath Lord's soul. And now, let's talk to the new sock puppet. <laughs> well, I'm well, because I knew I was close to fucking it up again. All right, so go ahead and rest at the bonfire. Rest at the bonfire. He'll still be there when you rest. It's okay. Go ahead and rest at the bonfire. Now go to level up. Same deal. Vitality and endurance. Back and forth. All right. Go ahead and accept. Whoops. I press A and then go to actually okay oh. to confirm the reinforcement. I am very proud of you, Dad. You took out the four kings in the abyss. 
you accomplished what the Great Knight Artorius really struggled to do. Well, we also had our struggles. We are now about as good as Knight Artorius himself. Go ahead and exit the bonfire. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to the sock puppet. This is a different sock puppet than the one we met previously. This is the brother? This is the brother. This is, uh, Darkstalker Koth. After the but your the dark, your style, however, your clinging and your eyes, with my eyes of unknown. Wow, he talks. Yeah, say yes. Very well. I shall now be still. Well, what's he doing? He's doing the same thing that Fram did to, tra to teleport you to where the Lord Vessel needs to be placed. Keep in mind, since you are, since you just now sided with Koth, he Framped, just jonahed me. Framped, the other oh, sock puppet. Yeah, I like the bird better. I, I just, bird's cuter this too. Is Gwyn's prison. Yeah, the bird's pretty wow. fluffy. Okay, oh, so out of frame. he's talking to me still. Am I supposed to be paying attention to this? Eh, who cares? Just set the Lord Vessel now. What do you want? Go up to that little, go up to, to yep, up there. Yeah. And press A. To place the Lord Vessel. This is what the uh, the 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 giant chick from Anne Orlando gave us, and we somehow fit oh, this the, in oh, our the, pocket. The, the mermaid, the topless mermaid chick. The, the, she was the, not topless. Couch. She was just showing a lot of cleavage. Oh, okay. She's got big garbongles for the, sure. The chick on the couch. Yeah. Yep. I want to point out that uh, you were you were effectively carrying this around since you collected it from. Uh, from uh, Guinevere. Guine what was her name again? That was a while. That was a while ago too. Yeah. So uh, she was indoors. I liked being indoors. What so is now that we placed the Lord Vessel, we've actually unlocked a couple new areas. Three new areas to be precise. Go ahead and rest at the Lord Vessel. Now go to warp. All right. Let's warp at. Let's warp at Anorlando. We're gonna take on the next area, but we have to go back to Anorlando. Oh, Anorlando. I was, Anor I, was looking, I was looking for one word, you know, like no, Anor, A N. No, I, I saw that. I, I can, I can R read once I, once I saw space. it. Space. Okay. Oh, we're indoors. Yay! All right. What am I doing, buddy? Well, first things first, Dad. Go back into your inventory. You're going to re-equip. No, no, you don't have to rest at the bonfire to do this. Go to change equipment. Now, what I'd like you to do is to re-equip all the, ha the, the Havel armor and then re-equip Havel's ring. Yep, Havel's helm. Rinse and repeat for all the Havel gear. Not that ring. Yep, that ring. N Coven of Arturis, replace that with Havel's ring. Yep, Havel's ring. Right? Now you're good. Back out and back out. We had to we had to rearrange our gear because you needed to have that. What kind of makes the the four kings fight kind of trickier as Where well as. Where am I buddy? While you're talking. Oh yeah, go forward, not that way, that way. Okay. What going? made that fight really difficult was that. What, or what makes it extra difficult is that it forces you to give up a ring slot. So because we didn't have Havel's ring, we had to equip lesser armor so we could still maneuver around properly. Am wait I for the elevator down to come back thing? up. Yeah, wait for the elevator to come back up. There it is. Oh, okay. Now All step right. on it. I was looking for a lever, so. Yeah, no, it, it's an auto elevator. It goes up and down on its own. All right, now go down the uh, swirly stairs. Okay. Go forward. It's 
So what? All right, so this is where I turned the thing so that the boulders stopped. Something happened and... Go down the staircase first. I want to see if this is the correct level we need to be at. I don't fully remember where we need to position this giant elevator. Okay, go forward. Yep, yep, I believe this is correct. Go forward. Go up those stairs. All right, perfect. This is exactly where we need to be. All right, so this place might look a bit familiar. You're just on the ground level instead of up on the uh, where the high beams were. Oh, this is the fucking ghosts and shit. Yes. Yep, that was this the... This is uh, where I dropped every time I died. Mm-hmm. Except for when I would hit that middle one by... Uh, okay, so where am I going, buddy? I see uh, ghosts down there. We're going to go at... Okay, uh, go ahead and just deal... Go ahead and stick, stick to the left, but go at the very end. Just um, beat up whoever, like, gets in your way. Right, like, just, you're, you have a lot of space, Dad. What do we do when you have a lot of space? There you go. I notice you tend to rely on the overhand swing attack a lot. The problem with that is that you're not always in a, uh, a position to do that. Because it's a precise strike. Sometimes you want, like, the cleave strike. Like, that was actually fine because he was right in front of you and you're well positioned. Like, here, you want to right bumper. See how you can kind of cleave? You got multiple dudes on you, so what you want to do here is... Yep, you're going to want to right bumper because you can also hit multiple targets at the same time. Alright, good stuff. Go ahead and pick up the, the little, little glowy items. Yeah, we're never going to use that, but it's nice to have. Right, you do we ever giant... feed him to the, to the, to the sock right, Dad, guy? Stop, stop for a minute, stop for a minute. Pan your camera up. Do you see this giant painting? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to go I, back and look at it better? No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Don't, don't aggro those other guys. Stay where you are. I'll let you know when you're good to move. I want to explain something quickly. Okay. So remember we, when we went back to the undead asylum? L let me rephrase that. When we went back to the undead asylum, the jail cell where you started the game from, we went back there and we picked up an item. Go into your inventory. I want to. I just want to explain something. Not equipment. The the bag icon. Now go right to the key item. To key icon. Yep. Stop there. Do you see the peculiar doll? Yep. We picked that up when we when we returned back to the undead asylum, to that dungeon cell where we were, where we woke up for the first time. Okay. It was not there at the start. But we came back to that dungeon cell and we picked up the peculiar doll. Now I told you I'd explain what the purpose of this was down the road. Well, we are now here. Okay. If you have the peculiar doll in your inventory, exit your inventory now, please. Now approach the painting. Because we have the peculiar doll in our inventory, this prompts up. Press A to examine the painting. Uh-oh. Damn, that painting's got some upper body strength. It lifted you in full havels and everything. Oh. Welcome to the painted world of Ariamis. This, this... Look at this place. is fucking cool. Do me a favor, Dad. Cross the bridge and light that bonfire. Go up the stairs. Go ahead and light that bonfire, then rest. Dad, 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 back, back, back. You missed oh. the bonfire. I'm sorry, I'm coming out of frame. All right, let's go ahead and rest. Uh, let's see if you get a level up here. What happened? I don't... Oh, you may have gotten attacked while you were trying to rest. Go to level up. 
Let's burn some soul packets, see if you can get another level up here. Exit the menu. Uh, go into your inventory. Let's see what soul packets you have. Yeah, just scroll down. Uh, go ahead and consume both the large soul, the proud knight, and... Oh, yeah, consume, right, consume both the large soul, the nameless soldier. Do that first. Go back to the uh, inventory. Let's consume the soul of the proud knight. Now go back into your inventory and let's consume two of two of the large soul of a proud knight. Just two, not all three. The idea is we just want to get just enough souls for our next level up, but we don't want to go too much overboard that we have a, a decent amount of souls to lose, potentially. 